take the time, look for a good setup, don't rush. Uh, I was able to achieve it in two days. Hi, how are you, sir? Uh, how are you too? I'm fine. Good, thanks. You. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Uh, please introduce yourself to the uh, Funded Next community. Okay, well, my name is Nixon. Uh, I come from Kenya. I've been trading since 2018, that's five years ago. So I started, so I heard about trading from a friend. I was searching for how to make money online. That was after graduation. I graduated in 2017, so I was in the process of looking for what I can do online with my computer. So I came across forex trading. Although, although I started with binary a little bit, but uh, shifted to forex. So I was researching through babybook.com uh, website. So I kept reading, and then I met a friend who is also Kenyan. Oh, 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 offer to train me a little bit. So I never took it serious in the year 2018. I just kept reading. I was not sure if it would work. So in 2019, I took it serious. I invested my first uh, real account. I funded my first account with $100. And I was trading Euro USD at the time mm -hmm. and other uh, dollar pairs as major currency. So at a time, uh, I made losses. I didn't have a strategy. It was terrible because I blew that money within a month. <laughs> then I started funding $50 mm -hmm. and kept losing, funding, losing, almost gave up. But I kept the coin. Mm -hmm. I, so the problem was I used to fund my account, lose the money, and then go for a break because I didn't have funding. So I got a, a, a job. Uh, as for writing job on Fiverr and Upwork, so I kept to working on online writing. So that gave me source of funding again. So I reappeared in 2021 when there was COVID. Now I teach, I, I, I became more focused now because I had funding, so I found $200. I would raise it to up to $300. And maybe at a time I would draw like $50. And that was encouraging. It motivated me to, to keep going. Still, at the time, I didn't have a real strategy that was okay. Uh, but at least I, I was gaining confidence along the way. Okay. Uh, okay. okay sure. All right. Sounds uh, nice. Good. Uh, good to hear. You've finally become profitable. So, are you now full time trading, or are you doing this part time? Well, apparently, I'm doing it full time since the beginning of this year. I started getting some good profit from last year, 2022. So, although I had not started well in with profound, I will come back to profound. Okay. So, when that. did you when did you discover funded next, and what brought you to funded next? Okay, uh, I still regret even today that it took me time to learn about profound because mm -hmm. the day I learned about profound uh, trading. The day I was, uh, I got happy because I got some sort of funding that was reasonable. So I used to fund two hundred dollars. I, I really wanted this account. So I learned about pro farms in last year June, mm -hmm. and then I started researching about it. I read about, uh, I read about many pro farms, and then there was this funder next, which was upcoming at the time, with a lot of advertising, and I was impressed mostly by the fifteen percent. Uh, profit share from evaluation phase, mm -hmm. and then the, also it was uh, affordable at the moment, at the time. So I gave it a try in October last year. I took a 15k account, funded. So of course I lost that account because I didn't know also how to work with uh, profound because again there's a lot of discipline, and that's yeah. the best thing I've ever learned in trading with profound. So, trading with Funded Next has taught you that you need to be more disciplined and you need to follow some rules. And you possibly now have a trading strategy which you follow? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, 
trading okay, with profound at least for the first time i will not trade initially i used to trade until my balance is zero <laughs> so apparently i have something for daily business and a maximum limit and in any case i used to find those rules a bit uh, difficult at the, at the beginning but apparently i've come to learn that even if it were my own money all that amount losing more than five percent in a day is just terrible it means you lose that account in less than a week so this okay. is outstanding okay so maybe you could tell us a little bit about your a little bit more about your trading strategy or trading plan uh what do you trade what pairs do you trade what sessions do you trade um maybe you could share your trading view screen to, and demonstrate uh, a typical setup which you're looking for okay being in kenya is the best place to access most of the trading sessions first of all i access the london session which starts in my location at 10 a.m to around 2 to 3 p.m and then the new york session from 3 p.m to up to 6 or 7 p.m which is a good uh trading best uh, among the most best uh, traded sessions Maybe I don't, I only miss the Asian session, which I don't much trade it. So initially I used to trade the London session, but apparently I trade New York session and I trade US start exclusively. Having tried uh, uh, current pairs and other, uh, and other asset classes, I have come to settle with US start because I wanted to focus on at least one major pair or one, one asset. So I trade the New York session because mostly just started to move based on uh, the New York session. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So you focus entirely on the one asset, which is the US 30. Very good. Yeah. And you trade that primarily in the New York session, which of course yeah. is the most volatile session for, for the US 30. So what are you trade? Are you a day trader? Are you a swing trader? What, what sort of style of trades are you looking to, to trade in that New York session? Could you show us your, your trading view screen and maybe demonstrate okay. a setup what? sure let me share my screen so what i do oh uh, i am a day trader uh, 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 i don't know how to put it because i only trade and close my trades at the end of the day new york session when it's over i'll have closed all my positions and i'm done for the day so i don't hold trades for two days or more for longer than one day because your study moves around 50 points or stay about or more than that or little or less and i take those little moves and then i call it a day i maximize on them and i call it a day so for example now how i, I do my trading is i can so I, I i use my strategy is based on i compare the dollar index for those who may not understand about dollar index this is a trend of dollar and uh, so this inverse proportion of uh, move, this move is opposite to uh yeah, to sure. it's yeah. yeah it's negatively correlated yeah, yeah. Sure, sure so so i look at this move so first of all i start with your study for example and i also use what you call uh, sessions i turn on sessions mm -hmm. these ones you can find them on the indicator mm -hmm. so there are some zones i draw as well because i use them four hour or one hour time frame to draw some zones. These zones are based on uh, historical uh, data where market made some significant targets. Okay, so these are your own yes, lines. I just you, you, you draw them. these lines manually at the, and these are I, areas yes. where you where you see some kind of breakout or support. Right, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So I mark them, so I draw them wherever, where, and now I'll be observing them as the market moves. So I come back to, I come down to one hour, um, and I enter the market at 15 minutes. I enter any trade, I open trade uh, with using 15 minutes time frame. And so what I do, uh, I am waiting for New York open, uh, at, I think, in my location, it is 4.30 or 3.30. It could be 9.30, open 9.30, New York, open 9.30. I said my, mm -hmm. okay, time to New York. 
Time zone oh. set to New York. Yeah. Okay. So you're waiting for so the I, New York cash open I, at 9:30, right? Sure. Sure. So at 5 p.m. Now I am look. I will observe the Asian station, this yellow is the uh, Asian station, and then there is the London station, and then New York station. Yeah. Again, so I, I include the liquidity. Uh, I don't know if that is ICT, I learned from ICT, something about liquidity. So uh, I draw some uh, lines here. If this was a uh, Okay, so you're a liquidity trader. You trade. Yes, uh, yeah, I trade liquidity. Right. And I, I, I give a good example here. So when the market opens, the New York session is open. So if uh, at the New York open, the market goes above, slightly above the London and the New York session, or even the previous day, the highest day of the previous day. Yep. And I will have established also that if the market was also on a downtrend or something like that. Okay. Okay. So, so you're, what, you're trading in the direction of the general trend, but uh, you're yes, simply waiting trend. for a for a pullback to sweep through, to sweep the liquidity. Cumul accumulate liquidity above previous swing highs. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So when I take a trade here, I'll let it at at least down two with two points at most or less. I don't have to take that much. But what I normally do is whenever I open a trade, I use small lot size and then if the market continues to move in my favor, I'll continue adding, adding more trade mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, closing down uh, the profits as it moves. Because you, move your, you move your stop to break even? I move to break even and I continue closing even more as mm -hmm. it continues towards the tech profit. Because sometimes okay. you start again and then turns back, and so at least you need to close some some profit as, as it continues. Mm -hmm. okay. so, Very good. So I call, I look at size setup, and the, um, a, a good setup to me is that where any of that takes any liquidity, it, it can be a previous day liquidity. Any liquidity to me is uh, it could be today's liquidity, yesterday's or another day. Yeah. Liquidity. Yeah. So basically, any previous day or session, high or low, yes, you yes. you view that as liquidity or maybe yes. uh, retail stops, and then once yes. those stops have been liquidated, you yes. I look. I, I observe the candles as well as it mm -hmm. changes direction. If there's any red candle, it gives me a signal that high jumpers it will continue in that direction. And mm -hmm. I, I, I take my entry. Okay, so you're looking for a close through that liquidity pool and then you're looking for a close back inside of it? Yes, because I don't yeah. like using indicators. I used to trade with indicators sometimes, but, but I didn't take some. Sometimes uh, I, it confuses me because some uh, some indicators tell you to buy others and to sell so I maintain my chart to make to make clean and just give it a shot uh, with yeah. liquidity. Yeah, so you're a pure price action trader. You you just sure. all you yeah. simply use is time and price. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Well thank you for sharing that. What is your what do you know offhand? What is your most profitable trade so far? Okay. Well, in terms of uh, what do you mean by uh, how can I come up? Uh, since you've been funded, the... since you've been okay. funded, with funded next. What was your most profitable trade that you uh, you closed out on? Okay, there are some trades I closed even during the evaluation, which are good trades. Most of the best trades that I caught them successful. Uh, trades that whenever I took them here and then I kept hiding and then I ended up closing some good profit. There was a day that I closed the around from, uh, okay, I normally call this 50 point, 250 points. I don't know to calculate the load, uh, the, what do we call it? The, uh, the tips. I don't know what to, oh, 250. I think it should be 250. But, I capitalize as I enter. I would start with 0.2 loss on a 15k account. As it continues, I top up with 
0.2 until it makes up to 5 trade. But maybe at a little bit. So I closed a thousand trade, a uh, thousand dollars in one of the trade, which and then I added one more eight hundred and I closed it. I I was able to achieve the valuation phase phase one, also phase two. Although this this strategy might not be always or uh, accurate, I have some losing positions. But what I have learned about it is. Whenever I open the first trade and I get stopped out, I will close it for the day and then look for other opportunities the following day. Yeah. So okay. what, among the best trades, I have closed at least up to 1,000 or even up, up to more than 1,000 in a day. Okay. So yeah. talking about risk management and how much do you risk per trade? Is it a set percentage of your account or is it a set amount? Okay, my set amount is, I think it should be 2% because at $300, I think it should be 2%. 1% for one 15K account is 150 so I think 300 is good enough to stop, uh, to end the day and then prepare for the following day. But sometimes it depends on opportunity. And sure. if I lose yes. it, yes. Yeah, you trade what the market gives you, sure, yes. I understand. Yes. Okay, yeah. so your, your average risk reward per trade is two to one, three to one, something like that? Yes, yes. I can yeah. say at least two to one and more. It can even go to mm. up to five to six, depending on how I uh, capitalize on having more positions. Mm. As I close. Okay. So yeah. your entry time frame is the 15 minute, is that right? Yes, I end on 15 minute time frame because okay. candlestick from the 15 minute time frame are good, uh, are just good for me. Uh, they're, yeah. they're working for me. And you do your analysis on high I time frames, four hour daily, and then four hour? Okay, yeah. I start with four hour and then one hour and then 30 minutes or 20 minutes. Okay, okay. Thanks for sharing your strategy. Okay, Nick, thanks Nixon for that. Um, Right, so we've talked about risk management, so thank you for yeah. offering that bit of advice to traders. Any other yeah. advice that you could offer to traders who are currently looking to pass an evaluation with Funded Next? Okay, what I can say about Funded Next, or, or any other drop trading or fund passing the, the challenge, one of the biggest challenges in evaluation is pressure. The pressure to finish in one day, two days, three days. I think challenges, you have, we have started days, take your time, look for a good setup, don't rush, you must not trade every day. People rush to finish it within three days. I had that problem. I traded, I remember my first account, I started with, uh, I was able to achieve it in two days, but that was by luck, because mm. in any case, the following day I tried it, it didn't work and I blew the account. So, sure. okay. I risk it too much. So, risk less and uh, take your time. It's good to go with discipline. That's one thing I can say about mm. uh, drop trading. Mm -hmm. So, you suggest getting a, an evaluation plan with no time limits so the trader can take their time and trade only the yes. best setups? Yeah. It will give you. Uh, if you train your discipline in the first place, because in any case, even if you pass the evaluation phase, you're likely to blow your real account as well, because the same discipline applies also. There's nothing like passing today and getting a real account and stop there. The same rules apply also. So, discipline you have to go with the level of the culture of discipline. Once you are okay with the risks, you can understand how you can go about that as well. Depending okay. whichever strategy you want to use. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, so, what are your plans? What are your aspirations? Are you planning to be now a full time trader, fully funded? Sure, I want to take now after fixing the account because I've been also testing and I wanted to see trading with uh, pro fund uh, funding is easier. It is not even psychological, it's not like my own money because look at the leverage. It is a good uh, idea. So I want to go full time and I want to go to 100k account or 200k, something related to that because I'm going full time and I will always be building on my psychology because sometimes as a trader we have emotions, sometimes you want money and you risk your account. So I need to have more accounts and 
I also I'm also working on my psychology. I'm reading uh, Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas, watching videos yeah. on psychology. That's the hardest part I'm working on at the moment. I've improved so far, and I'm even uh, aiming to do better on that. Okay, good. That's an excellent book to read. Any yeah. suggestions to for funded next? Anything that you could uh, expect them that they could improve on? So far, funded next is a great uh, company because we have grown together. There was a time I asked about MT5 because I was just 25, so coming to MT4 was not flexible to me. Apparently, we have we have MT4 on your platform, and I'm so happy about it. Another thing, you also introduced uh, another challenge, Taylor challenge. You also introduced the, another lower amount funding, mm -hmm. which is a good way to encourage new traders who cannot afford uh, other challenges. So I think part of the next thing is listening to the customers and I encourage, I'm not even leaving anytime soon, I'm just okay with part of the next. And maybe what they can improve, at the moment I have no idea what, because you have improved the most of the areas I wanted to talk about. At the moment, if I have one, I'll let you know, maybe through the email. Okay, <laughs> okay. now the offerings are pretty good at the moment, I must admit, so uh, okay, right. well, thank you Nixon, that's uh, very good of you to do this interview oh. for us so uh, good luck and i hope i'll be interviewing you in the future uh, when you pass your next uh, challenge okay thank you thank you thank you for hosting me it's an honor and i'm so grateful for your consideration okay, no thank you for thank you for attending okay bye thank you okay bye